right, so we gave up at the other side. We came over here to see if we could put Corey on a bullet. This is a permission that we have here, and we found a few, probably 20 bullets out here, I guess. A couple of dropped uh, infields and some fired rounds. We got a 69, some 58, so Corey's over there. Hopefully, he'll get his first bullet. My first signal is the zinking. We can do better than that. It's not all Civil War. Porsche. Finally got that Porsche I've been looking for. Ford Capri D71 Hong Kong a tarp grommet pretty old don't know how old tarp grommet some type of grommet there you go right there so you push it right down in there stay right down in there just grab a scoop full out let's check it There it, is. there it is. I thought it had to come out of that hole. So you gotta watch. Oh yeah. Were they in the same hole? Oh that's a nice drop. Mm -hmm. That's a nice drop. Super nice. Fired rounds. That's a good sign. We need to be back here. Shotgun shell head stamp. Turn that one up and see if it's a new black or not, which I doubt it is. Redhead Reliance. Redhead Reliance shotgun shell head stamp. All right, so we got some unhappy dig dogs. Of course, they're not officially, they haven't officially joined the club yet. And this one right here has got a little bit of a personality issue, so we're not sure if we're going to let him in. The other ones, that black one's a good one. She'll sit in your lap. All right, Mr. Corey might have found his first bullet. I hate it, it's not a drop, not nice drop, but. This is, it's like the curse of metal detecting. You either start out with a belt buckle, or start out with a fired round, maybe. So I know that's what that is. It's the right color. That's one thing, the white, the patina. If it's anything modern, obviously, it'd be jacketed or something like that. So it's definitely got the right color. You can't tell. It is smashed, but I can see the rings right there. So that's what's left of a fired three ringer. Congratulations, brother. All right, so while Bradford's digging, drop mini balls and Mr. Corey is digging dropped in fields and I'm digging handles or something. My turn's coming. All right, so I found me a Hot Wheels earlier. Oh. 
BMWs come in at 36 on mine lab. Mine was a Ford something. Another shotgun shell head stamp. Closest thing I can get to a bullet. Revelation WA. Alright, it might be my time here. I didn't want to film it. Because I didn't want to jinx myself, but it's a rock underneath here. Right there. Oh yes, it's a fire mini ball. I see the three rings. So I finally, finally join the ranks. That one smashed in. But I will take it. Oh, it got me a nice nice round ball. Except it's uh, got fishing line on it. Don't quite think that's Civil War. Now this is getting a little more interesting. It's 60 signal. This is the end off of a the end of a little belt strap. I haven't found any World War II stuff out here, so I'm going to assume that's Civil War. It's getting dark. I don't know if you can see. There's a lead fragment. A chunk of lead. Probably from one of those other bullets. It's got a little hook on it right there. Kind of odd. I'm going to leave that like it is. Not sure what that is. Little hook in the lead. Here's another one. There's some iron in there. It was just barely squeaking in. I mean, barely squeaking in. Started not to dig it at all. I just scooped it up out of here. So here we go. That might be a fired infield. If you can see it. But it was only down there about six inches and it barely came in. The soil here and some of the iron in the ground. We've got a 78 here. It's a chunk of camp lead. I say camp lead. It's a melted piece of lead. So it doesn't look like a fire. It's too rounded. So that might be why we're finding so much around here. They could have they could have camped right in here. Wrap up. <laughs> Wrap up. All right. <laughs> So we came back over to this other site to try to put Corey on a bullet, which we did. Put him on two bullets. He put himself on the bullet. We just brought him here. So did good, especially up against a fence. So I, uh, Hot Wheels car, some of this clad came from the other site. But I finally came back in the end here and got redeemed. I've got me a three ringer and that looks like a 69 fired. That looks like an infield fired. I hope you can see. That's the end to a knapsack strap, just the very tip, the little brass tip, and a grommet. I don't know if that's old or not. And let's see, Corey got him a, a fired three ringer, we think. That looks like the rings inside, and I know it's probably hard to see this. But that was his first one. This is the second one, really nice dropped in field. It's got the circular pattern on the top, so we'll have to look that up. And that is pretty cool right there. And then there's just a piece of melted lead. And then of course all the junk. We all got lots of junk. Coin. Bradford looks like he did a lot of digging. Lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Where's your putty knife, Corey? Oh, You're missing a putty knife. He found a putty knife. Bradford's got the Hot Wheel cars for today. Two of those. Lots of clad. Some of that from the other side or is that all, no, from, this here? Is all from here? This is all from here. Okay, on Bradford stuff. And that looks like an unfired 38 special, maybe. 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 I found an unfired 22 out here last time. Head stamps, really nice drop three ringer. Is that a 58? I think so. And looks like another 58 fired. Yeah, looks like it hit something. Snub nose. So, had a great time, and we'll be back out and see you next time.